Hello, and welcome back to the Time Sticking YouTube channel. Today we're going to be discussing the tachymeter, a more specific aspect of the wristwatch, and a little bit of its history. So stick with us through this intro, and we'll get into it. In the early 20th century, the wristwatch was emerging as a more popular way to keep time. This was in no small part because newly invented flying machines as well as other motorized vehicles required more hands-free operation. Because these machines were covering long distances and moving at rapid speeds, the measurement of elapsed time in relation to distance and speed became vital to many users' safe and effective travels. Long before onboard automation and smart tech, the wristwatch was a first defense in taking travel measurements in transit. However, a wristwatch ability to function this way wasn't adapted from the get-go. As it went, pilots, ship captains, and motorsport enthusiasts, as well as other speed-minded engineers, worked with watch companies directly to develop new tech for the wristwatch. A standout among these tech updates was the implementation of a tachymeter. If you're not familiar with the term tachymeter, we can break it down a little bit for you right here. The prefix tachy comes from Old Greek and translates to swift. The suffix meter is by all accounts a shorthand for measure. The function is therefore all in the name. A tachymeter is a tool for measuring swiftness or speed. With watches, the tachymeter scale is inscribed on the bezel. The tachymeter scale inscribed is typically paired with a chronograph or stopwatch movement. Tachymeter inscriptions on the bezel paired with the stopwatch function aid the wearer in tracking speed over a fixed distance. It does require some mathematics to use this function on a watch. However, conversions can be done on the fly with a little practice. As tachymeters go, the tick marks that are inscribed on the bezel for the tachymeter mark seconds in units. As well, distance can also be measured on a fixed time scale by converting the seconds on the chronograph to units of distance. On a related note, another function to look out for with conversions on a modern tachymeter is bidirectional rotation on the bezel. This innovation came about not long after World War II, as aviation in particular was moving forward from wartime. The bidirectional rotation can be quite an upgrade. It allows stacking of the scale to measure speed over further distances. So you're essentially taking the seconds or units and moving them forward as you rotate the bezel to add more time or units to your measurements. Although there isn't a fixed date on when this tech was first adopted, it has been a very helpful tool for anyone involved professionally with engine-driven transit for over a century. Wristwatch tachymeters have helped folks like Charles Lindbergh, the Apollo 13 astronauts, make journeys across oceans or get safely back from space. They have also played their own helpful role in the growth of global transit over the years. Aside from the overall function of the tachymeter, because of the popularity of aviation wristwatches building over the years, tachymeter watches can also be very fashionable. Their tick mark designs add a distinction to the watch that you're not gonna find in other timepieces. So whether you're using a tachymeter bezel wristwatch for actual practical measurements, or if you're just trying to look a little bit more stylish, it's a great way to go due to the distinct design and the overall function of this bezel. Hello, and thanks for watching our YouTube video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and you can find similar videos right here. For more new and interesting content from Time Sticking on our channel, please subscribe at the link here. And for more information about wristwatch repair and watch maintenance generally, you can find us at timesticking.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.